Okay, so in this video, we will consider two additional fundamental trigonometric integrals that can be solved using a u-substitution, but where we have to do something quite original to arrive at a workable u-substitution. So these are far from obvious problems. So suppose we wanted to derive the integral of secant of x. Well, we can't play the same game as we did for tangent, because if you look at secant, you get 1 over cosine, and as there's nothing on top, letting u be cosine will not give you a workable u substitution. So as this stands, this will really go nowhere. The idea is we'll multiply this by 1, but choosing a rather strange 1. So if we multiply the function by 1, it's still secant of x, and we'll choose the one to be secant of x plus tangent of x over, well of course, whatever we choose as our numerator, we must pick the same denominator, as this has to be one, as we cannot change the original function. So we can only multiply by one. So secant of x plus tan of x over secant of x plus tan of x. And you might think, well, why is this useful? Well, let's go one step further. Let's multiply our numerator. And just to make it more obvious, I'll also change the order. So I'll do secant times tangent first. Plus secant times secant, secant squared. And this is all over secant of x plus 10 of x. And if you look at this integral now, it looks like we've made things a whole lot worse. We had the integral of secant of x dx, which looks very innocent, and now we've transformed it to this form, which looks a lot worse. But actually, it's a lot better. Look at secant of x plus 10 of x. The derivative of secant of x is secant tangent, plus the derivative of tan of x is secant squared. So now we have a very simple u-substitution. What was highly non-trivial was to think of multiplying secant of x by secant plus tan over secant plus tan. This is what you can call a moment of inspiration. To have our dx as a function of du, we must differentiate u with respect to x. As we have just said, the derivative of secant is secant of x tan of x, plus the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared of x. Well, multiply across by dx, and you'll have that du is secant of x tan of x, plus secant squared of x times dx. And if you look now, the integral will become trivial. We have 1 over secant of x plus 10 of x. That's just 1 over u. And on the numerator, we have times, well, secant of x, 10 of x, plus secant squared. All of this times dx. But all of this times dx is just du. And now the integral is trivial. The integral of 1 over u du is simply the ln of u in absolute value plus c. And of course, we want to go back to a function of x. And we replace u by secant of x plus tan of x. And the final answer is ln of secant of x plus tan of x plus c. So there you have it. The integral of secant of x is the ln of secant of x plus 10 of x plus c. And you might ask, well, what about the integral of cosecant of x? We can play the exact same game. I will leave the details up to you, but show you just the first step, which basically will be mimicking this idea. So we will say, okay, well, if we integrate cosecant of x, we can just write cosecant as 1 over sine, because there's nothing on top, and so u sub will not work 
directly. But you can probably guess what's our next step. We want to multiply by 1. Instead of taking secant plus tangent, we'll simply take cosecant plus cotangent over itself. And here, if you multiply the numerator now, you'll have a cosecant squared and a cosecant cotangent. But if you differentiate this, cosecant will give you negative cosecant cotangent. The derivative of cotan will give you negative cosecant squared. So by making a very similar u substitution, letting u be cosecant plus cotangent, the integral will become negative 1 over u du, which will give you the negative of the ln of but instead of secant plus tangent, you'll have cosecant plus cotangent. And that's it. So let me just write the conclusion of this. So the integral of secant of x dx is quite simply the ln of secant of x plus tan of x plus c. And if you integrate cosecant of x, It's just the negative of the ln of, well, you change the secant for a cosecant, the tangent for a cotangent, and that's it. Whoops. Sorry. Negative ln of cosecant of x plus cotangent of x plus c. And there you have it. But both of these you should remember. And I'm saying this because to make a u substitution workable here, it was a rather non-trivial step. So these two problems we've just worked out, so from now on they're fair game. So if you see anywhere an integral of secant of x dx, you can just say it's the ln of secant plus tangent. And if you see the integral of cosecant, you can just say it's the negative of the ln of cosecant plus cotangent. And that's it.